Welcome back to Broncos and Parts Garage. My name is Chris. Today we're going to do a real simple video. We're going to remove the front bumper off this 1996 Ford Bronco. This procedure will apply to all fifth generation Broncos. It will also apply to F-150 trucks from 1992 through 1996 and F-250s and F-350s from 1992 through 1997. There's a couple different ways to get to the four 13 16 bolts that are holding this bumper on. You can either take your front grill off like I have. There's a couple uh, Phillips head screws that hold it on here and one in the center and you can lift it off or you can get to it from underneath and I'll show you that way as well. So let's get started. You've chosen to remove your grill to get to the bolts. Now would be a good time to look at some of your condensers and make sure there's no debris or any bent fins. You can straighten them out. It's also another good time to check your grill grommet there should be a rubber bushing here or on the bottom of your grill tab uh, and that keeps it from rattling once it's installed if you're missing that or it's all worn out let me know I do sell those but it is a good time to inspect behind here look for any leaks next thing you want to do and I'm going to do this as easy as I or excuse me as best as I can I've got a 13 16 open end wrench right now it's on the the actual nut you want to back those two nuts off but leave a few threads on so that bumper doesn't fall down and bonk you in the head when you're unloosening the other side. So under the truck, you can clearly see one of the nuts, but this plastic shroud's in the way, and you probably don't want to pop these pins out because once you do, you'll probably never get them back in properly. So what I recommend is actually taking this panel, it's flexible, pull it out and pull it down, Let's see if I can do this without messing up the camera. Hang on one second. And I'll pull down the corner. And then kind of just slide it out all the way along the bottom. It's just held in with tension on the front. And now you'll see it'll give you perfect access to this bolt and the top bolt right above it. So if you have an impact or a ratchet or a power ratchet, you should be able to get that on there and zing these two nuts off relatively easy. Again, leave a few threads on. You don't want this thing falling off on you. What I like to do is grab my wrench, get it on the nut, and then get some leverage and break these loose. This truck is very rusty, but surprisingly, this bumper's in good shape. So now I'm going to the top bolt, and again, get it on there, and we'll wanna break that loose. get that wrench off and then we'll see if we can use the power wrench or excuse me power socket to remove it the power wrench ran out of battery so we're going to use a socket and a 3 8 wrench we're going to get it on the nut and this ratchet extends down so i can get some good torque on it And we're just going to manually loosen this bolt. All right, I've got one of the nuts off. I'm going to leave this one off. I'm just going to leave a few threads on the top nut when I remove that so it doesn't slide off. Let's get that top nut loosened. <clears throat> All right, I've got this nut off. I'm gonna put it on the bottom, a couple threads, just to hold it in place right now. Now you just duplicate this process on the other side. I'll go do that off camera, then I'll come back when we remove the bumper. Well, it's a dirty job, but I've got three of the four bolts taken off. One of them is on the driver's side, just holding the bumper in place so it doesn't fall off. On the passenger side, I did have one bolt that kind of uh, stripped or spun. Uh, what you need to do then is kind of tilt the bumper on an angle to kind of pinch that bolt into place. Then you'd be able to back that nut off. So with that said, we'll take off this last nut. Right here, that's the last nut. And we should be able to just pull the bumper right off. And set her down. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to use this bumper. There's a rust hole right here. 
but we will take off the chin spoiler, we'll take off this molded plastic and we'll resell that. The rest of the bumper will go to the scrap heap. If you're wondering why we made such a simple video here, a lot of guys put on lift kits, larger tires and wheels, and they need to either space the bumper out or trim the edges on both sides. So if you could take the bumper off, it makes it a lot easier to trim your bumper and make an accurate cut. So I hope this helps you guys out. Thanks for watching.